Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Miss Amir Samir, a mathematics teacher. If you like the content of my channel, don't forget to press the like button and press subscribe to receive all the new lessons. The performing tasks for grade six. Question number one. Use the prime factorization of 12 and 18 to complete the Venn diagram. Demonstrate your understanding by drawing in your journal or using the diagram tool. This is the Venn diagram, and he wants me to write the prime factors of 12 here and the prime factors of 18 in this circle, and this intersecting area, the common prime factors. First, let's write the prime factors of 12. How can I get 12? I can get it by 2 multiply 2 by 6. Uh, or three times by four. I will try two times by six. Two is a prime number, but six is a composite number. So how can I get six? By multiply two by three. Two, two, and three are prime factors of 12. Now, how can I get 18? I can get 18 by multiply, for example, 3 by 6, or you can make it 2 times by 9, any numbers. 3 is a prime number, but 6 is a composite number. How can I get 6 by multiply 2 times by 3? Now, let's try all of these numbers on each other to get the common prime factors between 12 and 18. Let's start with 12. How can I get 12? I multiply 2 times 2 times 3. I write it from these prime factors. How can I get 18? By multiply 3 times 2 times 2. How can I write these numbers? Let's start with 2 to write it under this 2. 2. Then 3 and 3. I don't have here 3. I have 2. So I have to go a little bit here and put this 3 and the other 3 outside. Now, let's find the common factors. I have two and two, so these are common. But I'll take only one, two. Here, no common numbers. And here, I have three and three common. I will take only one, three. And here, the no common numbers. First, write the common numbers in the intersecting area. So I will put here two and here three. So from prime factors of 12, I wrote two and three in the middle. So two, I have to write it in this area. Now the prime factors of 18, I wrote two and three, two and three. So I have to write the rest, which is three in this blue area. Number two, write an equation and solve. Answer the following questions. Number A, write an equation for the previous model. Explain how you wrote this uh, equation. B, solve the equation. How do you know that you solved the equation correctly? You have here one, two, three, four. The value of x, each box is x. So the value of these boxes are x plus x plus x plus x or x times four. How can I write x times four? I write it for x. What about this side? I have 16 boxes. The value of each box is one. So one times 16 equals 16. And these two sides are, are balanced. So I will put here equal. They have the same weight. So if I want to write this as an equation, I can say the right side equal to the left side. The value of the left side is 4x equal to the value of the right side, which is 16. In number B, he said, uh, solve the equation. The value of four boxes equals 16. How can I get the value of one box? By divide the both sides by four. Four X divided by four equals X. 16 divided by four equals uh, four. How can I check my answer and uh, know that uh, my answer is correct? Uh, I can change uh, the value of X to be a four. So, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. 16 equals 16. Number 3. Use the equation 
y equals 3x to answer these questions. Number E, which variable represents the input number? The variable is y and x. Which one is the input number? The x is input. When I put the value of x, I get the value of y. So x is the input variable. Variable represents the output number. The output one is the y. This is the value I get it. So this is y the output. Number C, which is the dependent variable. The dependent one is the y. It depends on the value of x. And which one is the independent variable? The independent one is the x. If I change the value of x to be 1, this is the input. 1 times 3 equals y. y is the output. And it's the dependent. If I change the value of x to be 3, so 3 times 3 equals 9. So 9 is y, which is the output, and it's the dependent value. And x, independent variable. Number four, Maram saw this problem in her math book. And Farha gathers the same number of eggs from her chickens every day for two weeks. In the third week, she cooks exactly half of the eggs she had gathered previously. How many eggs does she have left? Which one of these options will help Maram solve this problem? Number A, divide by 2 and subtract it from 14. Number B, multiply by 14 and divide the product by 2. Number C, multiply by x by 14 and subtract the quotient of x and 2. Number D, divide x by half and subtract it from 14 plus x. Let's see. In each week, we have seven days. So from the first week, day number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The second week, we have also seven days. Day number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he said, after two weeks, she cooks exactly half of the eggs. I don't know how many eggs in each day. I can name the number of eggs in each day with X. Now, I have how many days? 14 days. In each day, I have X number of eggs. So after 14 days, I can say I have 14 days times the number of eggs, which is X. So 14 times by X. After that, divide this answer by 2. Get the product of these numbers and divide it by 2. I can make it like this. Or I can say 14x divided by 2. So the correct answer is multiply x by 14 and divide the product. The product is the answer of multiplication by 2. So number B is the correct answer. Number 5. Ordering the operations. What steps would you take to evaluate the expression? 9 plus between brackets, p power 2 minus 3 divided by 2. For p equals 5. So we will substitute and instead of p, we will put the value of p, which is 5. So I will write 9 as it is plus and write the brackets. And instead of p, I will put its value. The value of p is 5. So I will write 5 to the power of 2. Then, then subtract 3. After that, divide by 2. First, what the first step I have to do? I have to start with brackets. So I will write all the value. 9 plus 5 power 2 equals 25. 25 minus 3. This is between brackets.
then divide all of this by two. Next, I have now addition, brackets, and the subtraction inside the brackets, then division. I have to start with brackets. So nine plus 25 minus three equals 22, then divide by two. Now I have two operations, addition and division. I have to start with division first. So I will write nine plus 22 divided by two equals 11. Now I can add nine plus 11 equals 20. Let's write all of these steps. We do it in this table. The first step to substitute the value of the variable. So this is the first step. Number E, instead of P, I put its value, which is five. Next step, to simplify the exponent, this is number B. Next step, subtract 25 minus three, this is C. After that, we divide 22 by two, so this is D. The last step, we add nine plus 11, this is number B. Thanks, grade six. Wish you all the success in your quiz. Goodbye.